Day 102, 2023. It is another beautiful, beautiful day. This is my evening walk. And I also had a great day at work. And then I did not only work at my work, I also gave a presentation outside of my work during my lunch time. I was able to give up my presentation to a group of PR professionals in agriculture. And yes, my topic was uh, digital PR and digital marketing. With my experience in graphic design, digital marketing, and uh, PR, nonprofit organization, and also market, yeah, marketing in general, I. I know in the past, my husband said I couldn't claim I have knowledge in marketing because I didn't go to school for marketing. However, there are so many technical things and hands-on experience that I had, such as even email marketing, social media, and all those things are part of the digital marketing world and also learning the difference between the digital PR and digital marketing is also important and I did the research I did the presentation specifically for this group of uh, audience and I would say I'm proud of myself I delivered it without feeling too nervous and I control the time very well 30 minutes presentation and 15 minutes of Q&A and also from my pronunciation program today I was re I received a, a speaking challenge question to share some wins from this week so I would like to share a couple wins one is that I learned that there there are sounds that I never knew the terms before such as the schwa sound I had never heard about it before. However, we spoke, I spoke almost, I spoke many words with that sound in it. Have you heard about it? S-H, oh, schwa, A S C H W A schwa. I hope I pronounced it, I spelled it right. Anyway, it, it means it's the non-stressed sound, like uh, uh, almost like uh, a thinner words. Anyway, this is great to know. Also, I learned that the cat I and the father of R, they are so different, but in the past, some of those sounds, even though those two words I pronounced correctly, but those two sounds, I mixed them in many of the words, such as last, past, pan. Maybe in the past I would just use um, uh, use R instead of I. So it's great to know, even though it's small, to me, I feel like it's eye-opening to learn the difference and to know all the common words that I pronounced in the past, past uh, I pronounced wrong. And another one is, yes, like today, I gave a, a successful presentation, which stressed me out <laughs> for days in the past. Another win is that I prepared my other presentation for my next Monday's meeting at work, which is big too, and um, wish me luck. And keep learning, learning is fun, and also a good working workplace is so amazing. I just felt that my work, I, I, I know I also do my work, however, I feel like I learned so much. Um, because the environment is so encouraging and I'm able to learn a lot more than I could imagine. So I'm so grateful and hope you have a lot of wins in your week and in your life too. Enjoy your evening. Bye. See you tomorrow.